terrific going to the basket, high defying slam dunks. This is going to be a good one. And the Aggies control the opening tip. Rector at the top. Moore surveying. Evans cut off the baseline. Smith's jumper is good. Well, excellent, excellent patience by Utah State. We saw Wyoming jump into that zone, certainly to try to save players uh, with the uh, lack of depth. Uh, but uh, Utah, uh, Utah State had the answer with the long three-pointer. First answer of the day, no good off the hand of Josh Adams. And I think we may say Adams for three a few times today. More. Back-to-back -back threes. And, and of course, Co Coach Scheid is a man-to-man -man defensive uh, uh, type of coach. Uh, they started out in the zone, but they may not last in that zone very long. Aggie's trying to shoot him out of it. Adams draws contact, wild shot, won't go down. Turned in, lost it. Rector. Moore gets fouled. The two things to watch when you're shorthanded. Maneman gets the foul. One fatigue, two foul trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, uh, you, you have the, the media timeouts, which helps you. We saw Wyoming jump back into that man-to-man. -man. Now sideline, uh, baseline out of bounds. Uh, they, they continue with their man-to-man -man defense. You ever coach a game where you had seven who could go? Uh, most of the time we had six. <laughs> Smith <laughs> able to finish inside. <laughs> Marty Fletcher will be here all night. Yeah, absolutely. Eight to nothing, Utah State. Herndon from deep. Great penetration by Adams. He kicks it out to Herndon. And the 6'9 sophomore knocks down the long range jumper. It'll be a spread the floor. Jump shooting kind of day for the Cowboys, and really that's this team. They, they don't have the inside presence they had last year when they won the tournament. They can't run it through a Larry Nance Jr. and work an inside-out game. Beautiful feed from Smith, and Quinn Taylor finishes. Well, Utah State has always been known for their half-court execution, terrific curl play, and the easy layup. The shot. Foul. So Utah State Shane Rector gets the foul. We just saw the extent of uh, Wyoming's bench that was right. substituted into the ball game. Jordan nodding in. Pitch out. Adams can't find the rhythm as of yet. And one and out. Taylor with the rebound. Rector left alone. A loose ball. And Lou Evans, junior from Salt Lake City. Transfer from Tulsa dives on it. You caught it brilliantly. He dove on it. You got to get a hey, tournament time. Even more so, you get on the floor for loose balls. It doesn't work when you try to bend over and pick it up because somebody will be diving and yeah, that, they'll get it. No, that's how you get injured. No question about it. Man him in up top. Yeah. 
Whistle and a foul. As Jason McManaman gets fouled. You don't ever want to foul a jump shooter, particularly from three-point range. Good contest, but you cannot foul. So uh, that's that's a poor play by Utah State. Yeah, Lou Evans got him on the arm. Larry Shiat in his trademark yellow sweater. McManaman gets the first one. And Coach Shiat's going to the old uh, Temple House uh, Cheney. Uh, take all four guys off the uh, free throw line and bring them all the way back on defense. Why do you do that? Well, you do you you do it because you you expect Mac Miniman to knock down the, the free throws also. You just want to preserve some energy. Yeah, that, and, that was and my get, thought off yes, the top of no my head. They don't have to run down. They, they can get, get down there and defense. get set. But I got to run my thoughts by you to see if they're valid or if I'm just. Well, that would be wise. I defer to the experience. Smith kicks it back. Evans thought about it. Rector, a little space. Jumper, no. Naughton gets it into the hands of Adams. Up in the air, decides to go to Herndon instead. Can't hit his second of the day. More with the rebound. Blocking foul, and Moore will get the basket. Got a timeout. Moore coming in. Naughton will get the foul. He'll be at the line when we come back. Time is out. A start from the floor for Utah State. Five of seven, including two of two from deep. From a little town we like to call Trayville. Excellent ball movement. Uh, as we mentioned, Utah State does a very good job in their half-court offense, and they've uh, shot the ball well early on. For the timeout, Moore had the drive and layup. Naughton got called for the block, so Moore will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. And he does. Of course, they met one time during the regular season, and Wyoming uh, won that ball game 84-65. So Utah State has come out and done a great job. And it was the ability to hit shots like that as McManaman drills one from three is why Wyoming was victorious in the meeting. Yeah, he's, he's had a terrific year, outstanding shooter. And that was in rhythm, and he knocks down the three. More curling. Finds Evans. Three ball won't go. Rebound, kick out, more straight away, and a whistle. We'll get Lou Evans underneath. Of course, one of the best times to shoot a three-point shot is on a offensive rebound because the, all, the defense collapsed in there. Kick out, Moore just couldn't convert. Lou Evans, second personal foul. Lieberman back in for the Cowboys. McManaman sits down. Adams with the ball. Lost his footing. Slow to get up. Now regains his feet. Catch and shoot. Lieberman, no. Rebound for Smith. Rector. Perry. Deep ball still there for the Aggies. Just, just a simple ball screen comes off of it. One dribble and uh, shoot the long range shot. Adams off quick bounce, pull up. Another misfire from Adams. He's 0 for 4. Smith elevates and connects. Yeah, Chris Smith has had a uh, outstanding year. That was a very nice ball movement. And he ends up with the three-pointer. Four of six from deep. Utah State hot early.
Cowboys trying to answer. Lieberman can't. Feed to the cutter. Nobody there. Naughton with the rebound. Taylor couldn't connect. Turnover. Well, Hernan Fink left and went right. And Lieberman threw it over into section C. So uh, not real smooth or crisp on the offensive end. We haven't seen enough ball movement uh, by Wyoming. You can't, uh, you can't dribble and then shoot. You've got to have ball movement or penetration. And I'm sure that's what Coach Shad is talking to his team about. Uh, seven uh, of their last nine shots, Marty, have been from deep. And it hasn't been out of, out of, out of movement. It hasn't been out of rhythm. Perry with a nice move to the rack. Yeah. He just sliced, diced, and got to the basket. Too easy. Adams, no. A foul on the floor. Well, we, we saw where Adams put pressure on the defense here. Here we see a breakdown defensively. I'm sure Coach Shiant uh, will have a little conversation with the squad at the next time out. And Adams falls down and loses it. Perry with the easy layup. The Cowboys call a timeout. 23 to 9, Utah State mishandle of the ball and an easy run out for Julian Perry. Back inside the Thomas and Mac. <clears throat> you call this the matinee? Yeah, absolutely, and I'm sure Coach Shiat during this timeout, uh, and I know Coach Shiat, he's saying, I don't care if we only have five guys. <laughs> It's unacceptable the first eight minutes of this ball game. We didn't play defense. We didn't get down and move our feet. Yes, they started out in the zone, and Utah State hit the first two uh, shots against that zone. And offensively, no ball movement. No, no. no, really, you've got to move the basketball to move the defense and get into a much better rhythm. And we see they come out and run that motion that Wyoming is so good at. Miniman short, Perry with the rebound. Moore being guarded by Cowboys. Perry dumped down. Jones goes left-handed. All going right for the Aggies. Yeah, that was at least that shot was contested by Wyoming. Just a nice jump hook. Adams all the way to the rim. I think you'll now see Wyoming get after it defensively after the made goal. First Cowboy point the last four minutes. Perry working off the bump. Gets the bucket. Josh Adams called for the foul. Yeah, take a look here. It's a good hard move by Perry. He draws the contact. Keeps his head up, kisses it off the glass, and now we'll go to the charity stripe for the three-point opportunity. Perry, a perfect four for four from the floor. Nine points, two assists, a rebound. Spirited effort. Can't get to double figures. And a pass inside, and Barnes gets fouled. Yeah, Mac Maneman made a nice bullet pass. Good look. Up strong. Now you get the opportunity to go to the foul line. Barnes misfires on the first. Rector back in for Utah State. Barnes is uh, for the season shot 50% from the free throw line, so uh, it's not surprising he missed the first. 
He's gotten 30, uh, 36 attempts at the free throw line this season, converted 50%. Let's see if he can go one for two as average. Can't get either. Rector. Over the top to Moore with the catch and finish. Yeah, that was just a great athletic play by Moore. McMenamin was in position. Moore just with those that long reach went over top, caught it, laid it in. Lieberman and Moore with the long arms. Got a finger on it, out of bounds. Cowboys will sub in Naughton and Josh Adams. Yeah, when you post up, we saw Hernan post up, but you've got to get big, really spread out that lower, lower body and not allow Moore to come around and flip it away. Adams trying to create a little space. Herndon cutting in, and it's no shot. Didn't get the rim. Shot was blocked before it got the rim. Well, it was a clean block. Therefore, the shot clock went off. Even though we got Herndon got the rebound, uh, it's a violation. You go the other way. Rector. Right in, a little scoop, and it goes down. Yeah, that was that was a terrific crossover, strong side drive, and the reverse lay-in with the left. 20-point lead. McManaman fouled. Chris Smith with the foul. Fast start for Utah State, and they haven't slowed down. No, they've, they've, they've executed very well. There's a, a, a terrific move. And the unselfish basketball, especially offensively. 13 field goals, 10 assists. Well, of course, the negative is you're down 20. The positive is it's early. And that's the way you have to look at it. And the way you could climb back in a basketball game is to to get to the free throw line, get some easy shots, but you need stops on the defensive end, and Wyoming has not been able to do that so far. Utah State, 72% from the floor. Cowboys, 3 of 12, 25%. And now Wyoming jumps into a little more of aggressive zone, a 1-1-3. Perry misses the mark. Evans able to track it down. Perry will try it again. Can't hit again. And a rebound for Lieberman. Adams spinning. Little drop off. Well defended. Naughton unable to convert. Rector. Well. When you talk about Norton, he's he, he he got the ball inside. It was a great pass. You got to go up strong. Move to the hoop for McManaman. Everything but the deuce. Yeah, just what you need. You have a great move. Things are not going well, and the thing crawls out. Moore elevates. Naughton with the rebound. 20 to 3 Aggie run over the last five and a half minutes. Adams gets fouled by Rector, no shot. Evans just picked up his third personal foul. So he will spend some time on the Aggie bench. Well, when you, when you talk about the Aggies, uh, the, everybody is contributing. We see a lot of balance here. 
Guys are really executing on the offensive end. So it does hurt uh, for Evans to pick up at third, but you're getting contributions from everybody out of here. Already have six guys in the scorebook. Smith, Moore with eight, Perry with nine. Adams able to get him from the free throw line. Yeah, they, they at least got it into the bonus, 17 fouls. So Wyoming now goes to the 1-3-1 zone, trying to find an answer defensively. And a beautiful pass underneath Taylor. Aggies are sharing the ball well. Yeah, that was that was terrific execution. Bullet pass. They found the weak spot in that 1-3-1 zone down on the baseline. We call it the short corner. And a catch and a, and a lay in. Manaman's three off the front. Rebound and put back underneath by Akagorski. Why not? It's all working. If I'm tired of going across the top, let me just toss it in from and that, straight on. And that that was that was from NBA range. I mean, it was a, it was. <laughs> and Rector made it look easy. And that's just been the formula that hasn't worked for Wyoming. A three no. for Utah State, and then they're trying to answer automatically, and it just hasn't been there. Yeah, you, you just got to the foul line, so you you you, you can't you can't get, you got to chip away. You got to try to get penetration. You can't just jack it. Cowboys two for ten from deep. Perry with the extra pass to Moore, and he'll skip it one more time to the corner, and Chris Smith. Larry Shiat has seen enough. He calls a timeout. Unselfish basketball, and another triple for the Aggies. Back in the Thomas and Mac, and it has been an unselfish first half for Utah State. They've moved the ball well, getting assists. Look at that. One, two, to the corner, and an elevation and hit for Chris Smith. 41 points, coach, at 6.49 to go in the half. Points in an opening round game for a first half. 46, Boise State against San Jose State. 2014, that's for an opening round game. Biggest point total for a half, 56 in the second half. BYU against TCU, March of 2010. Well, they've they've knocked down 17 field goals, 12 assists on those 17 field goals, and no better example than the last possession when it was bip, 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 pass, boom. It's a fun game to watch and a fun game to play when nobody cares who scores. Adams fouled on his way to the hoop by Chris Smith. And Utah State playing like a cohesive unit. Well, we're talking, what, 68%? Well, 17 for 25, which is outstanding. From three ball line, it's uh, six for 10. Oh, they're only 50% from the free throw line. Yeah, one of two, but that's just not good enough. Yeah, that's not good. But uh, really a terrific performance so far by the Aggies of Utah State. Elston Jones back in for Utah State. And Austin Jones came in last time and just threw a left hand jump hook and it went nothing but the bottom of the net. Everybody's knocking it down. Rector trying to shake Adams and it's a miscommunication between Rector and Jalen Moore. And that's the most aggressive defensively we've seen the Cowboys, and it forces a turnover. Yeah, but with just seven able bodies, we can't afford to be that aggressive for the duration of the game. Utah State knew that and took advantage early. Lieberman short. Jones. On to Perkins. Too tall for Shane Rector, and so back-to-back -back sloppy possessions for Utah State. That was the old helicopter pass. It went over everybody's head. Yeah, 
And we see Utah State jump into a little 1-1-3 one, 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 zone. Manaman in contact, blocking foul, and the basket. Taylor committed the foul. Yeah, excellent baseline drive. McMenamin gets the deuce and the free throw. I'm, I'm sure Coach Durier saying, why, why in the world did I go to that zone? We're, 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 they can't score against us and it gets the man to man. Perry with the toss back, and it's going to be a blocking foul as Taylor was speeding his way to the hoop. Akagorski. Akagorski uh, just a little late getting to the spot. Naughton will replace Akagorski. Taylor to the free throw line. No free throws. Side out, Jones. Moore with the handoff, Perry. Moore with the catch and a quick shot. Tip, no. Second time, Jones. And Rector will reset it. Jones going back to the left hand. Won't go down. Rebound by Taylor, and he threw it right to Adams, who will try to get going offensively and does with the three. Just his second made field goal of the day. He has nine. Little life for Wyoming. Yeah, that, that was a good pull up, Jay, out of transition. Seven straight reeled off for the Cowboys. Moore doesn't have the touch. Adams with the rebound. Back-to-back -back threes. Timeout, Utah State. Wyoming putting a little charger in the first half. Now 41-26. Well, the... Jumping into the zone for Utah State seems to have backfired. Wyoming has a little bit of life now. Yeah, and, and, and the, um, the old, what, what is the old coach talking about? He said, don't shoot the ball from deep range unless you've made some passes. Well, the last two shots were, were uh, without any passes, but it was out of transition when the defense is moving. You don't want to shoot uh, without any passing when the defense is set. So that's the difference in the two scenarios. And Adams... They got some, a couple stops, they pushed the ball up the floor, and uh, it's a good time to take a shot out of transition when Cowboys, the defense is moving. Cowboys have reeled off 10 straight. Aggies haven't scored in over three minutes. Rector, three on the shot clock. Had to let that one go. Adams challenging. Moore will take it to the top. Smith. Jones back out. Moore fouled on the drive by Herndon. Well, you, you did mention the 10-0 run, but it did start when Utah State went, jumped into the 1-1-3 uh, zone for that one possession, and Mac Miniman took it hard to the basket and uh, made, the, made the hoop and got the foul. Smith, short one, rebound Erndon. Adams, trying to will the Cowboys back in on his own.
Deep ball from Perry is good. You have to make a shooter put the ball on the floor, and that did not happen. So Perry knocks down the three-point shot. Adams working off the bump and a nice finish. That was the old Houdini shot. I mean, are you kidding me? Hang left, hang right. Kind of spin in the air almost and then kiss it off the glass. Smith. Sweet looking jumper. Yeah, that was under control. Puts the ball on the deck. Pulls up and smooth stroke. Lieberman. Manaman off a bounce. Rector. Gets called for the foul and disbelief on the Wyoming side. Well, Coach Shai wanted, wanted the palming violation. McMiniman said, no, I got all ball. And all they ended up with was a foul on the Cowboys. McMiniman's second foul. Yeah, so Co Coach uh, Shai will replace him. So he doesn't pick up that third in the last minute. Ten. More. Under a minute to go. First half. Rector. Akagorski's second personal foul. Yeah, Adams was in position. Good help side defense to take the charge, but Rector gets fouled before the charge happened. First free throws of the day, seven points. Shane Rector from the Bronx. And it'll be a foul on Jones going over the back. Cowboys will get to shoot. Jones, second foul. Because you mentioned only Utah State, what, four free throw uh, attempts? And this is what I love about Coach. And I know Coach Shia was saying, well, no. They only have four uh, free throw attempts because we haven't been close enough to foul them. Let's get after it. You're right. That does sound like Larry Shia. That's Tim Duryea. First year as the head coach, Utah State. Herndon rolls it in. Chris Smith in for Quinn Taylor. Smith. Perry. Sticking with them, dumped down. Tamore is too hot to handle. Taylor quickly back in. Smith will sit down. And the Cowboys will play for one. Less than a second differential between the shot and game clock. Adams, six. Adams slipping through. Jones able to get a hand on it. And Adams goes right into Moore. And Moore did a great job of staying 
vertical. And letting Adams try to hoist one over him, unsuccessful. And at the end of the first half, Utah State sitting on a 17-point lead. A new opening round record. First half, 47 points for the Aggies.